Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia, I'm the Soul Crafty Teacher. Today is Work It Wednesday. So on Work It Wednesdays, I do a tutorial. So this tutorial will feature a baby gown and a baby hat. And guess what we're gonna do today? We're going to do an applique on the baby's gown and we're gonna put a name on that little beanie hat to match. Are you ready? Cause I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so my supplies for this project, for this tutorial, again, zero, three months, baby gown. This is by um, ARB. Also get my blanks from um, AJ Blanks. And here's the hat that we're going to add. Cute little name to it and applique to this one. So let's get started. Um, we are gonna use the fast frame. I know this looks a little weird. But this is what we're gonna to use today. And I'm gonna use this for the gown and I'm also gonna use this for the hat. So keep watching. Let's go in and I choose my hoop size. My hoop size is gonna be eight by 12. So I'm gonna hit okay. Click on A, get an outfit. I'm gonna use the name Olivia. This applique font is called Summer. So I'm gonna use the summer applique. And you see how I have space here, so I'm gonna take it and click here. And then you're gonna go and hit the space. I'm gonna hit space, move it to the left so I can bring them closer together. There we go. Just like that. I have Olivia. And I wanna make sure that Olivia is going to be, it's going to be 3.25 by 9, so 9 inches. Let's hit unlock, 9, and then 3.25. Okay, so I have that. The next thing I'm going to do is add the middle name, which is Jane. This to Jane, and I am going to add the Ellie script. Now that I have Olivia and Jane together, I want Jane to go about right here. And I'm going to take this, and really, you don't have to, but it's not going to fit inside the frame, so it's going to tell you use a bigger frame or it's outside the frame. So, so I'm going to take it and turn it around. And I'm gonna move it where I want it. Okay, let's look at this place. Now I'm gonna take this design and I'm going to save it on my jump drive. Okay, so here is the baby gown that I'm going to add the applique. It's gonna go along the side of this gown. This has little cute little ruffles, dark pink. Now I have my baby gown. I'm gonna go take it over to the heat press so I can do my center point because I want exactly it exactly to be on the right side. I'm just gonna put it here. I am using my Heat Press Nation uh, Signature Pro Series 16 by 20. Ooh. Just for a few seconds, actually. <laughs> okay, I've measured it and where I want the design, there's about 14 inches where I can add the design. And so my design is gonna be here on your left if you're facing, if you're right if you're facing down. So I'm gonna have it here or here. And then I put my snowman sticker because I want the machine to be able to find this design just by locating the sticker. And I already have it placed, so. I'm just gonna lay this across here. Remember, this is self-adhesive sticky stabilizer. And what I want is on the side. Take it, place it, and now, all right, so I know that I do not want it to be in the middle, but I want it to be even. So 
I'm just gonna build a chip and straighten it out. Again. All right. Okay, let's try this again. Look. minutes for this to stitch out. Don't worry, I'm not going to have to do this. Okay. Let's now, so I don't have to wait for these to individually cut. If you can see. the front you're gonna take it flip it over since it's the front unfold the flaps you can see the inside of it so now I have the hat where I need it you know this is the flaps are down and this is facing me because this is the part that's gonna be flipped up and the name is going to be on it so we have the hat, it was seven inches across. It's about 3.5 or three and a half in the middle. So that's why I put my placement sticker. And then I'm gonna take this placement sticker and the hat, of course, and put it on the machine. It's gonna find it, scan it, and place the name there. All right, let's get back to cutting the applique for the gown. Okay, so I've already taken the, I took it off. I'm gonna leave it here to took off the whole entire frame. Don't unloosen this or move this around because you wanna make sure it's in the same place when you go back to it and um, do the finishing stitches. So I have my scissors. I use these double curved scissors for this. So I'm just gonna cut. So now I have it on the machine, I have everything cut out. And so now I'm about to let it roll. I'm gonna take all the stops out so it can just go all the way through. All right, here we go. It is all done. Look how cute it stitched out so nicely. Olivia Jane. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to add the hat to the fast frame. So come follow me over here and I will do that. So when you have a stabilized, sticky stabilizer, you really just take this and just pull it off. So sticky stabilizer under here. So that's what I'm going to do. Take it, lift it, and I'll just pull it off. This comes right off, no problem. This is medium tearaway sticky stabilizer. It's off, and I'll clean up the front and I'll clean up the back. But there you have it. You have Olivia Jane 
Uh, I did have just, I nicked this just a little bit, but it's okay. But you have Olivia Jane and remember the hidden zipper. Gonna zip it up and there you have it. Look at that. Now it's time to do the hat. So I have my hat. You see how I have it laid. I'm going to take this already measured. I've already measured. This is seven inches across. It's about three and a half here. So I'm going to take it and just lay it down just like this and smooth it over the sticky stabilizer. And this is going to go to my machine. And because the, the top part is kind of overlapping, I always take it and I just pin it just a little bit. Just to pin it back to get it out the way so that it will not. There we go. So I have any issue, and I'm going to pin this one too. Just a little pinning. Now it's ready for the machine. Okay, so we have everything smooth. Only need enough sticky stabilizer just for this. I know you see this is missing, but I'm not doing anything in this area. So I'm going to have it here. I'm going to hit set. And then I am going to rotate because when it flips up, you want to put the name here. So when it flips up, it's facing the right direction. Okay, close, edit in. Then I'm going to scan and let it look good. So now it's looking for the little snowman and it found it. So now I found it, it has the placement. Now it's going to tell me to move the sticker and then I'm going to, the name is going to stitch right here. It's all done. All done. Let's take it off and see what we have. Okay, take all my pins out. I used to hold the top parts out. Back over here. Here. I'm just gonna take this and put it off. You don't have to worry about this hurting the baby because this is going to be flipped up. Okay, I have some little pieces. Some little when you have like small font, even if you if they cut the jump stitches, sometimes when it's really small, you still have to go in there and take care of the little tiny ones. Okay, so I have it. <gasps> And what I do is just flip it. And look at that. How cute is that? I'm going to go over there and I'm going to press it. I'm going to put this together. We're going to see how they look. Uh -huh. So cute. So cute. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you learned some new tips and tricks along the way. Don't forget to hit that like button and also comment if you have embroidered a baby gown or applique a baby gown or embroidered a baby hat. I would love to know. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video or live. Ciao.